Hello friends, my name is Marie Noel. I am blessed to serve as the pastor associate and director of religious education here at the Church of St. Clair. Welcome, welcome to St. Clair. Welcome back to our parishioners. As you know, it has been three months since we were last together for worship. Um, and within those three months, as we were dealing in working to overcome COVID-19, we did lose our beloved pastor, uh, Monsignor Richard J. Guastella, better known as Father Richard, but also our pastor emeritus, um, uh, Monsignor Joseph P. Murphy. We pray that they soul rest in peace and in glory to God and in honor of them, we are excited to welcome you back. As you know, um, on Thursday, June 18th, we've received a directive from Cardinal Dolan that public worship may resume effective this Monday, June 22nd. So we are elated and as we have been preparing ourselves to return you back, we are excited to welcome you back. We will begin Monday with daily Masses. Daily Masses are Monday through Friday, um, 7 a.m., 8.15 a.m., 9 a.m., and also Saturday, 8.15 and 9 a.m. All daily messes will take place right here in the church where we have a bigger space for you to maintain social distancing and worship um, and joy and in safety. And we also will continue to open the chapel for daily prayer um, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The chapel will be open and accessible to you. As we return to um, public worship, as we return to the celebration of the Mass and the sacraments, we want you to be safe. We want to do so in a safely manner because we are still battling a pandemic. So how do we do that? That's what this video is, is here to explain to you. As you know, on our website, on Facebook, um, email to you and mail into your home. Even before we knew mess was resuming, <laughs> we had sent you this document with several guidelines to ensure that our return is safe um, and we maintain proper distancing. Um, but we also want you to know that the liturgy will not be the same as it was before you left us. Um, as you will see in the video that we've put together for you, in this video, um, the worship aids, for example, you will not have. The music issues you will not have. You will be required to wear a face cover, um, a mask. Um, no gloves, but you do need your mask. Um, the, the priest and the minister who will be ministering the Eucharist to you, they too will be wearing a mask. Um, um, hand sanitizers will be stationed in the front door and on the side doors so that you can um, purify your hand um, as you see fit. So there are some changes, right? There are some changes. You'll see lights and in other setups. Why? Because we will continue to offer certain messes live into your home for our parishioners who are unable to return immediately. Because as you know, per the Archdiocese, which is also following the guideline of the CDC, in the, gov the federal government, the, in the local government, um, those of us who are um, of certain age or of certain phys have certain, um, um, or at risk to exposure or encouraged to stay home. You should feel good knowing that um, the mess will continue to be live. The 9 a.m. mess every day, the 11.30 mess on Sundays, but also if we have an overflow and the people are in the chapel, which is where our overflow setup is, and uh, you'll see that in the video later on. Um, when you see uh, those messes will be live stream for you as well. Um, don't feel bad that you cannot be here if it's better for you to stay home and be safe because safety is our number one priority. Um, 
as you know, the mandate, the requirement, the obligation to attend Sunday Mass continues to be suspended until Father notice. Sunday Mass is a Christian obligation, as you all know, not something that the church puts out to you, but something that God himself had invited us to. Way back in the book of Genesis, when the Lord made a nation out of um, Abraham, the purpose was for worship, right? So we can know and be with God. And of course, in the book of Exodus, when the Lord told Mo tells Moses, go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. To do what? To go and worship so that they can go and worship. And that's why even in the commandments, in the Ten Commandments, the third commandment is to remember to honor the Lord's day, which is Sunday, the Sabbath, right? And so, but at this moment, God knows, <laughs> as the church knows, and as you know, that it may be safer for you to continue to worship at home. Do that. Don't feel obligated to come. That's why the obligation has been suspended, right? So we welcome you back with us to help us um, demonstrate to you what the new normal, <laughs> in quotation, what that new normal will look like and feel like here at St. Clair is Pat Giganti. Um, we all know Pat and love Pat. Pat is a um, parishioner, a long-time parishioner at St. Clair's, children liturgist, lector, Eucharistic minister. So we are very happy to have Pat to walk us through. Also, we'll be walking us through this video um, is our uh, seminarian, Jonathan, who has been instrumental um, in helping us um, here at St. Clair's, especially during the time uh, when we were at the peak of the um, virus. Hi everybody, welcome there's back. There's Pat <laughs> and there's Jonathan and Hi, very good. <laughs> <laughs> we welcome you back. Please journey with us through this video um, as we prepare our step um, together. Welcome back. Okay, you walk in on Nelson Avenue. We will not be accessing the church through the side doors. No side doors. Rather, you go straight to the front door. When you walk in, there will be an usher to welcome you. As you can see, when you walk in, you must have your mask on at all times. The ushers who will be greeting you will also have his or her mask on at all times. And now you walk into the church following the directive of the usher. When you walk in, the first thing you're going to see is that the pews are marked. The side pews and the back pews are for people who come in as individuals. The center aisle will be mainly for people who come in um, in a group of two or more. Um, follow the directive of the ushers. They will guide you where to sit. So the yellow markers that you see in front of the pews indicate for you where to sit. You will be sitting in front of the marker. Another thing that you will not see when you return to the church or the hymnals they too will be gone however on our website we will post all the music for the sunday mass for you when you walk in you will see our poor box this is very important because we will not be collecting um, your monetary donation when you come to mass the way we normally do at the um, offertory but rather on your own either as you walk in into church or as you exiting the church you can place your donation into one of these boxes which will be throughout the church but especially the one at the center aisle we may also have a basket here for you you will not see the table that is normally on this side um, which is a table that um, holds uh, the um, bread and the wine um, for consecration um, the reason again is to ensure that we are keeping you safe so if you are a gluten-free if you have a gluten-free host in that matter when you come to mass before mass begins see if you can get a hold of an usher 
and hand him or her your gluten-free host and the pigs to give to the priest for consecration because the table where you normally put it in the back of the church will not be here. Other things that you will see different in the church when you return is um, tripods and, and um, um, spotlights. You were not used to those um, prior to COVID-19. However, it is our hope to continue to offer the Mass to our family and friends who are unable to return to the Mass right now. So we will continue to live stream the 11.30 a.m. Mass on Sundays and to live stream the uh, 9 a.m. Mass Monday through Saturday. And also, if we reach our capacity in the church, which is right now at 25%, 125 people, we will encourage others to go to the chapel and there we will play the mass live um, for people who are in the chapel and they will be able to receive communion there. Um, we'll show you a little bit about that in a few. Another new thing is the presence of the hand sanitizer. So hand sanitizers will be all over the church um, at all entrance and exit and point of the church so that you can um, use it for yourself to sanitize your hand as often as you so needed. But also the priest and the ministers of the mass will have it on the table near the altar so that they are constantly purifying their hands before and after they. Another thing that will be different is the reception of the Holy Eucharist. When you come up for communion, we will have markers on the floor to guide you so that you can keep proper distancing. On the communion line, we will maintain the regular six feet distance and we will progress forward maintaining that distance. When you come up for the Eucharist, we will maintain social distancing. You will find a table before you and the minister. We ask you to please stand on the green line that separates you and the table and the minister. You will extend your hand and the minister will say, the body of Christ, and you say, amen. We'll do that again. You will extend your hand and you will receive. You will take off your mask, consume, and put your mask right back on. Very good, and then you move on. The minister will have his mask or her mask on. And as you will see, normally we have the precious cup on the side. We will not be ministering the Holy Eucharist in, in the form of the precious cup throughout this virus um, pandemic, but only in the form of the sacred host. It is the teaching of the church that Jesus Christ is fully present, body, soul, blood, and divinity um, under each species individually. So even if you receive Christ only in the sacred host and not in the precious blood, you receive the fullness of Christ. The same way for people that have gluten-free, um, who are gluten-free because they have celiac disease um, and they used to receive only from the precious cup, you still receive the fullness of Christ. So it's okay that for a while we are refraining from the precious cup until it is safe to receive from the precious cup. We also encourage you to receive the Holy Eucharist only in the hand and not in the mouth, um, simply because it protects you, it protects the minister, and it protects uh, um, the other people in the congregation. It's safer to receive that way, um, 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 to protect ourselves from potential cont uh, um, spreading um, through saliva. So that's why we're encouraging you to receive rather in the hand only instead of um, in the mouth. At the end of Mass, we encourage you to exit the church at the door nearest to you. You can leave through the front entrance door, the way you came in, or through the side door, as you can see Pat doing right now, since it, since it is the door nearest to her. Perfect. We ask you to exit the church from 
any of the exiting point promptly so that our team can come in and prepare the church for the next mass. If you come in and you wish to light a candle, we encourage you to do so immediately before the beginning of mass. In that case, at the end of mass, we can exit in a more timely manner. As per the archdiocese and guidelines, and also from the government, we have to, when we return the mass, the church has to be um, kept at a capacity of 25%. That's one of the other reasons why there will be the ushers at the door to welcome you, to greet you, but also to keep count. In the main church, that is a total of 125 um, parishioners at, at each mass. Um, therefore, if we reach the capacity, you will be invited to the chapel and in the chapel, you'll see the signs for preventative. And there also, you'll see hand sanitizers on the table that you can use to hand sanitize yourself. But then you'll also see the mess live from the church into the chapel, um, um, the same way as if you were watching it at home. In the chapel, we ask you to follow the same directives as in the church. Um, when you walk in, you will see the blue tape that tell us where to sit and the places that are um, um, cross off means you can't go into them. Um, where you see a blue tape means you sit right in front of that blue tape in the chapel. And you can sit, watch the mass live in the chapel and during communion time, a one of the priests or the deacon will be here to minister the Eucharist to you. Um, um, so the live stream Mass, while predominantly will be the 1130 Mass, however, every Mass in which we have an overflow, more than 125 people, the extra um, friends and parishioners will be invited to come to the chapel where you will be able to watch the mass live and also receive communion at the appropriate time. Those masses where we have an, a, an overflow, even if, if it's not the 1130 mass, we will also be live streaming into your home. So keep um, abreast on our website, visit our website um, to see if a regular mass that is not the 1130 mass is being live streamed. Thank you.